Hey everybody, we're going to take a little trip back in time today, and not just my usual Brooklyn Yard stuff, but we're going to go back down to 1964, where it all began, St. Louis, Missouri, colder than snot, and uh, one little uh, two-year-old Scotty woke up that morning to find a Lionel steam train. I found a, a vintage transformer for this. Had it rebuilt down at the coin corner. Oh gosh, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. Highball. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> This is the 2029 post-war, 1964. I've got a catalog for it somewhere. This is the original engine. It's a replacement tender. I think the tender originally said like Lionel lines. Had a... Uh, Came with a uh, flat car with some, gosh, what did it have, uh, like wire spools on it. Had a Lehigh Valley yellow gondola and uh, a mobile, an orange mobile uh, tank car, I think, and maybe another box car. So I've got the, the set in the catalog, but uh, my folks got me a. Uh, dome car <laughs> to go with it to turn it on mixed train so when we fired this guy back up again when my son was little needed a Santa Fe dome car so there we go sometimes it goes around the tree sometimes not one of these days I might make a real layout out of this stuff I got a bunch more track and some switches and a couple Christmases when my son was little I got him the uh a Crayola set. I'll show you here in a second. And then uh, we got his mom a set of um, Amtrak. Never had them, but an Alco FA and an FA dummy and some Amtrak cars. And sometimes we run that one too. So I'll show you the Crayola here in a second. This was a pretty cool little starter set. Carlos said this would have been around, oh, I don't know, 95 or 96. And with this box car, you could color on it with the color crayons that came with it to get the uh, fake snow off of it. And I think the last thing we, we drew on here was <laughs> I did a uh, daylight on it. So here's the uh, Alco FA, it's a dummy unit, but it also has, it has the horn on it. So I don't think I'll get the whole big Amtrak set up, but maybe it'll deadhead with the 2029. So I went and found my catalog here, 1964, we'll take a quick look at it. The lower end of train sets. The medium size or medium price, and there we are. Thirty nine ninety five. Diecast steamer with smoke set number one one five one zero. Whistle and smoke forty four ninety five. But there's the twenty twenty nine. Was it Lionel tank car? We had our spools on flat car. Lehigh Valley, it was kind of a yellowish gold. And then we had to ship it on the Frisco. I think that was white. And then it had a red caboose. I don't remember if it's setting. I think it said just Lionel lines right up front there. But boy, they had some neat, neat sets. 
You know, they weren't the 50s post-war, but they were still really cool. Some really nice sets. And all the neat action cars and that. But, eh, this isn't a big Lionel video. But, uh, we'll add this in. I should probably squeeze that track together better. I wish he could smell the ozone and the uh, smoke oil. So a couple years ago, my son got me this cool Southern box car. Mystic Southern, I know you'll appreciate that. And so let's see if they'll uh, run together. Well, the box car came off. Highly professional video work out here laying on the floor. I got to blow three times to back up. <laughs> anyway, so that's about the extent of my line all for this Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll talk to you later. From deep below the Cascade subdivision.